Welcome back to another episode of The Eminence in the Shadow. Actually, it's The Eminence in Shadow. Super edgy series. The first episode, I don't think I've been that heavily baited. I think many of you also agree that no one saw the direction of this show unless you've already read the light, read the light novel. So immediately, our main character seems very tuny. But I thought that because he referred to other people as named NPCs in real life, I thought that, is this like a... Reverse isekai or he's already been isekai into the modern day Japan? No. Motherfucker was role-playing. He's considering every person that's not like as important as him as like a named NPC. Fucking writes like German poetry, has like spell incantations, plays the Moonlight Sonata like he's some kind of... Again, it's overly just playing into the Chuni stereotype. I had no fucking clue what was gonna hit me. And then he uses the crowbar as his main attack and he goes into such detail about the crowbar. Everything about this show just screams excellence. And at the very end, when he actually gets isekai, I don't know if this, if he already knew that he would get isekai, but he gets hit by a truck, goes through his monologue saying, well, I could master all these martial arts, but at the end of the day, someone's going to be stronger than me. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, if there's a nuclear weapon that's going to hit me, like, what could my martial arts do? And then I kind of said, well, that's how modern warfare works, right? You just deliver you just kind of create your own nuke and then you kind of say don't do it i got my own nuke you, you send it i got my own nuke so maybe and then people are saying that's kind of funny that you mentioned that's so like kind of a spoiler maybe not i guess that's gonna play into it but we're in this isekai world now he has a heart of just furries and uh, there's one girl with the twin tail it's looking like a very classic cheesy isekai but but because of how he led there it's not gonna be generic i hope and i hope that they continue to play into this overly dramatic tone and just pay off with the comedy let's start today's episode what's up oh i gotta act like a baby I, this kind of reminds me of like uh mushoku tensei except i guess uh, mushoku tensei takes itself seriously with rudy is growing up as a kid this is gonna be a complete meme right oh. physical abilities using magic so, are we talent? Who is not? Okay, okay. So, the sister is much more talented than- Oh my god. Hey, well, give us a couple years, come on. Damn, we just turned into an NPC at this rate. The eminence. Maybe it's his plan? So, it is his plan. So, even as a kid like this, he is the eminence in shadow. What is that power? Some kind of rope? No, his a slime sword. Sure. Okay, he's super over, over overpowered. So he's like hiding his power, I guess. Where did you get the slime sword from? Uh, uh this guy's probably trash too. Two minutes? That's longer than most of you last. Oh, you're a master, are you? But slime, we're we're, we're a slime, bro. This is a Rimuru, but not really. What is that? Some kind of slave in there? Who's it gonna be? Some cat girl? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. Wait, it's just our punching bag? Yo, let this dude rest in peace. It's 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 okay. It's just for experimentation. You can just like do whatever you want. Containing the magical overload. And then it turned into the... Uh, huh? From the blob to the elf girl. Oh, okay, let's just keep going. Of course, of course. First impressions matter, of course. Yes, yes. At last, you've awakened, my lady. And of course, her hair is just conveniently hiding her nipples. As is anime tradition. Or if it's in like some kind of like sauna or like showers, you know, you got the the foam or like the the uh, the steam. Is he no, no no? Unless he's gaslighting her into believing that. I mean, she did transform into it from the what? Huh? Consternation. These are big words, man. Demon. Yep. It's a fairy tale. Is he lying to her? Because this is the first thing she's ever been introduced to, and he's like kind of just. Huh? Is he just lying to her to condition herself into this? Because he did say she's a pushover in the intro scene. Uh, make something up. 
uh, 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 no, we can't, we can't let you know. I don't, I haven't thought of it myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> the cult of Diabolos did this to you. <laughs> just reading shit across the room and he's just like, yeah, that, that's the cult of Diabolos did it. So edgy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> but she's just taking it all for granted. Of course. I mean, imagine you got, this is the first thing you see. You gotta, I guess, believe it, huh? The other hero descendants, uh, we gotta play along with it. Organize- We have an organization now? <laughs> uh, sure, you go do all that. I, I made that up, but okay. Uh, Shadow? Shadow Garden. Pretty cool. Alpha. <laughs> you can hear by his voice acting, right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> But he-, he Wait. I thought he's still playing dumb, though. Wait, 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 don't kill your sister. But, no, we can't go that far. Okay, it's like saying, I could have done that, but... Oh, no! Big sis, you're amazing, and I'm just a jobber! We're going to a school now, okay? Let's meet other kids that, okay? Tournament arc? Tournament arc? But what? what happened? Did we just leave? No, the sister, where did she go? Or she got kidnapped. Or this is all part of Sid's plan. Hmm. The dad's the... <laughs> That's the wife, right? <laughs> the dad's a pushover. <laughs> the mom is hilarious. <laughs> Our organization is really building. Jesus. Yo. Alpha's probably doing all the work. Huh? The, the cult of Diablos is real then? Okay, they're just... Their imaginations are running wild. I'm like, wait, wait, they're not real, but they think that they are. They're... <laughs> all from that one performance. Oh my... They're so deep into it, man. <laughs> but, but we missed, though. It, 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 no, you gotta go there. We, uh, it's I can't turn around this act. <laughs> she seems very protective of the bro I'm not sure. She is super protective. Oh my! Wait, you're hit! I guess because she can get it healed, but... If anyone touches my bro... Uh, kind of cruel to hit a girl like that, but... Gender equality? It's probably him. No, it's just the girls. Yo, these girls are so professional, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Okay. <laughs> what? We are Shadow Garden. This is so tuny, man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Di Diablos, what? Could you imagine being this guy right now and these girls just showing up like, hold the. Di what the fuck are you talking about? Wait, wait. What do you mean that secret? I thought this is a big misunderstanding, and that they're not the cult diablos. Not, I understood it wrong the entire time. The ground to escape. <laughs> they're all just like standing up like this. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, to Sid. Where is he at? Shh. Ah. Uh... Or just another misunderstanding, and he's like, I'm lost. Shit. Where am I? <laughs> Shit, where am I? Uh, sure, but... Shadow Sword something. Easy. I mean, sorry, Slime Sword. No, his Slime Sword is too OP. But... I am the leader. Oh, no. No finesse, all raw power. Yeah, how are you gonna use it? Show me. Lesson one. Okay, we're learning about how to move. Magic on our feet to move. And then it's all about just placements. Just all placements. All just positioning, okay, and... Wait, 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 that was not a lesson. I'm just getting started. What do you mean? 
<laughs> That's not a lesson three. He's still not dead. What do you got? Do you have a trump card? The darkness of the floor. Suddenly some sad flashbacks. I feel like I should be fe like feeling really sad for this guy. <laughs> what the that was like, that was like a second of flashbacks, but it looked pretty sad. Huh? Darkness, you say? But I was born in darkness. Still need to know how... It looks like a bigger sword than forward charging. Yes, this is called an isekai protagonist magic. Is this still the slime magic? Like... I need to understand where the slime sword came from. Just, just born with it? But of course. Watch it open. It's gonna be his like sister or like wife or something, right? That was in the flashback. Come on, open, open. There it is. Oh no! I'm starting to feel for you. <laughs> Maybe he could save her. Milia. Is that gonna be an actually important character? Well, they show her name in the flashback, right? If it's that boy, maybe he can save her. Or not, what is this? Somebody watching to throw it away and none of that mattered. No, he's keeping it, this guy. I, I wouldn't have... Yo. Like, I wouldn't have doubted if this show would be like, oh, Milia, if this is the boy, he could save her. And he's like, oh, this is dirty. Get out of here or something. Am I... Did I miss something? Of course. I've been waiting for this time. <laughs> and he's like... Even he's like... The, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but he's gotta be like... Yes, it's time. <laughs> and more misunderstanding. And it's gotta be some kind of like... Epic way of... I don't know. It's gonna be some reason of like... We as the... You know, your... Your group of this organization. The Shadow Garden must... Leave to take care of something. But I'm sure you've already planned this out. And be like... Yes, of course. Good luck on your journeys or something. But... I definitely get how this comedy can hit. I thought, okay, in the first episode, I thought they really exhausted everything because now that they've showed us their card of like, oh, you baited us. It was actually, you know, an isekai all this time, but we baited you into thinking maybe it wasn't an isekai, maybe it was a Jap Japanese isekai. And then at the end, it's just complete baited. And I thought, okay, they've kind of showed, showed us like their hands. Now what can they do? Because this is looking like a generic isekai at this rate. No, continuing on with it. Everything is just a misunderstanding of Shadow just being like, uh, uh sh just, just being super edgy. And this legion of girls just buying everything that he says to the point where they're just, they're, they're, they're just doing everything for him. And they're getting out of control. And Shadow's like, sh sh sure, just, just, yes, he's just going along with it. So, <laughs> ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, but super interested in this world. And the fact that, the show doesn't take itself seriously, but the girls do. That contrast, man, it's so good. It's so good. I need a better introduction of the girls, because right now we only know about Alpha and kind of like Beta, but there's like seven girls in total, so I'm sure over the time, as the time goes, like we'll get more, you know, st stuff about them. I kind of wanted to get more about this world, too, and like their school and academy and like maybe like a tournament arc, but maybe that's not the most important thing, but we'll see how this goes. And also poor Baldi of a dad. Jesus Christ, he's a... At least he'll be a legendary running gag. But anyways, if you stick around this song, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps you to go push down my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.